the forehead of your robot. Even this place has blocks, and it has far more than that. Nimbus.rbxl, known as Hellmouth of Roblox, is a Roblox Studio file that has circulated among pirating websites and file sharing websites. Apparently, the RBXL file has far more anomalous properties than the Ultimate.rbxl file, a Roblox Studio file that supposedly contains all the assets of the game Roblox, such as terminations of accounts that enter the game, and the exit button not functioning when leaving the game, etc. In response to the spread of Nimbus.rbxl, a group was formed to archive all links, and investigate the properties of Nimbus.rbxl, called, the Council of Nimbus. The first trace and history for any links of Nimbus.rbxl, dates back to at least January 15, 2011. The file was uploaded onto the site of Mediafire, and the link was approximately alphanumericals. Yet the only interesting part of the link, according to an eyewitness of the file, was that once putting the VRBXL file within a video player, it would play out a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video of a black screen, with a sphere in the middle which would occasionally flash approximately every one second. The purpose of this video is unknown, yet it could lead us a different perspective and or purpose. The hand drag study was started by an unknown user in attempt to examine the audio-visual properties of the video when the RBXL file was put within a video player. The recorded properties were as followed. 1. A black screen. 2. A sphere that flashes every one second. Such recorded properties were two of them, and the user wanted to examine more closely at the video, and so, once recording every property that was in the video, except the two properties mentioned before, the result was this. 1. Audio which is very quiet, yet such quietness is false, as the quietness transitions to a sound of screaming, approximately distorted to a volume of 240 decibels. It is still unknown why there is such sound of screaming. 2. If the user attempts to watch the video again for 2 to 3 times, it will become distorted, and transition to footage of a Roblox client playing in a known place, presumably the Nimbus.rbxl file. 3. If said user continues to watch the footage of the Roblox client, it will transition to a reading of a poem by Robert Frost, which the poem is also known as a question. The popularity is after the day of January 15, 2011, the Nimbus.rbxl file and its anomalous properties would spread like wildfire in the Roblox forums, effectively being considered an urban legend by most users of the forum. Yet some went out of their way to prove that the anomalous properties of Nimbus.rbxl wasn't just an urban legend after all. Some also went blitzkrieg with their arguments defending the accuracy of the anomalous properties of Nimbus.rbxl, and such people defending the accuracy of the tale of said rbxl file were called the Nimbusers by forum members. After that day, descriptions of the file and forum posts about it were completely deleted from the web, yet some snapshots and screenshots still remain of these forum posts. These Nimbusers went out of their way to start a group, in fact, outside of Roblox, to never attract attention for their tale of Nimbus.rbxl, and the chat room was hosted on IRC, more specifically the IRC client, Hexchat, and other IRC clients had this chat room too, more specifically, MIRC and WeChat had the chat room, also hosted on their clients. And this chat room also had a nickname, the Council of Nimbus. During the year of 2012, the popularity of Nimbus.rbxl was declining, yet the Council of Nimbus was popping research fresh and new, from eyewitness accounts and other research by the Council of Nimbus. During the 2012 April Fools incident, most assets were leaked and or compromised, this included the Nimbus.rbxl file too, and this file was on the library. Yet interestingly enough, the Nimbus.rbxl file was not the same from the one published on Mediafire. This was because, according to a report by the Council of Nimbus, that this file had fork bombs in between the code, and the amount of fork bombs were 3 to 5, and the result of this file being malicious is probably because the hackers of the incident switched the rbxl file with a malicious one. 
An eyewitness account after the Council of Nimbus, reported the malicious file copy of the Nimbus.rbxl file, states that every game on the platform, whether popular or not, had the Nimbus.rbxl file imported into the game, and such file replaced the entire map, and each game with this RBXL file imported into the game, was automatically saved without the help of humans. The account continues by saying that every player playing every game known on the platform, would occasionally freak out due to the map changing into the malicious file, and such malicious file would resource starve the platform as well, causing an occasional glitch or kick every minute or so. The Hoppert incident, was a hacking incident that occurred on January 16, 2016, in which all games that were teleporting to another game, redirected to a different game, more specifically, a published version of the Nimbus.rbxl file. Such game was published before the Hoppert incident, and according to an eyewitness, tons of people joined the game, and the server limit was 200. Yet such server limit was bypassed already, because of the massive amounts of people in the game, and yet nobody got kicked, nor did the game get content deleted. After the incident, tons of YouTubers resorted to talking about the incident, and such mass coverage lead to Roblox deleting the game, and wiping it clean from the web. Some eyewitnesses report one person leading this massive crowd of people, this person wasn't known, until an anonymous user gave a video link to a member of the Council of Nimbus, which this person can finally be known as the user, Kyrp, which would be the result of the Kyrp incident. Again, another eyewitness reports that the user Kyrp, attempted to lead the massive crowd into a long line that turned left. In which another long line was there, again Kyrp went the long way, and an empty wide room was seen by both Kyrp and the massive crowd. There in the corner was a long and skinny creature, it was plain black, and was sobbing. And up to the point where it sobbed so hard, his tears would form more and more to be larger. Up to that point, Kyrp tried to walk on it, the creature, in retaliation, ripped his legs, then his torso, and finally his head, until he was left just as the literal representation of, rest in pieces, and his body was only just pieces by now. The entity within the Kyrp incident, has now been dubbed as Olaf. During the Crosswoods incident, better known as the Chris Nimbus incident, the Nimbus.rbxl file had been imported within the game, and every single other asset that wasn't the Nimbus.rbxl file was single-handedly deleted. The Discord server that made the game, was alerted of this change, and declared a change to revert this damage, yet unfortunately the script of the game couldn't be reverted, so some members of the server decided to join the game. Unfortunately, they were terminated whilst they joined the game, these terminations were only directed at server members, and not other people that were players of Roblox. Council of Nimbus's Interpretation The inside description of Nimbus.rbxl, for the Council of Nimbus is an infinite labyrinth containing multiple anomalous entities and artifacts, such infinity of this labyrinth is continuous and recursive. All of Interpretation the inside description of Nimbus.rbxl, according to some eyewitnesses include the building being similar to Ultimate.rbxl, yet it is not infinite, rather filled with large and empty rooms that house objects, entities, etc. Mazara Interpretation the inside description of Nimbus.rbxl, according to some eyewitnesses include the building being similar to the Olaf interpretation, yet only with the exception of the rooms being smaller and with an occasional voice emanating the word Mazara, but such meaning of this emanation of the word Mazara is currently unknown by the Council of Nimbus. The circulation of the Nimbus.rbxl among pirating websites has fluctuated between years, sometimes these links could stay up for years or months, yet most links that circulate only stay up for a day or so before being deleted. In order to stop the circulation of Nimbus.rbxl, the Council of Nimbus has started taking down multiple links from file sharing websites to pirating websites. And sometimes the pirates from the website can get angry at the takedown, and still not know the person or company that took it down. The anomalous properties of Nimbus.rbxl, have been a fascination for the Council of Nimbus, and other associated groups that research Nimbus.rbxl. Because due to the nature of Nimbus.rbxl, it has single-handedly contained multiple artifacts and anomalous entities within its quarters. Most eyewitnesses report. 1. Violent entities. 2. Termination of their accounts. 3. Being kicked out of the game. 
for screen freeze slash client freeze. Unfortunately, the effects cannot be reverted from the player's client, and such playing of the game shall be advised with caution. The only way to revert the effects from the client is on installing and reinstalling Roblox, any other way does not work.